Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm in the beautiful County Clare. And the spot that I'm at at the moment is a place called Blackhead and Blackhead Lighthouse, as you can see right behind me. And as I was driving along here, besides the challenge of trying to find somewhere to park, I looked at the sky. And as you can see, there's an impressive storm cloud there that's right behind us. So I was hopeful that by the time I got here, it would still be there. And thankfully it is still there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take off a quick shot here, not gonna miss this. And then I'll talk you through what I've done and what I've ended up on in my choice for composition. Right, for my first composition now here, what I've done is I've looked for gaps and cracks in this beautiful rock to act as a leading line directly up to the lighthouse. And I'm also on the side that I can get that really, really dark and foreboding cloud that's in the distance behind the lighthouse. And in the distance as well, there's some nice light as well being kind of reflected or reflected across the uh, Atlantic here. Now, this cloud is moving as well, so I need to be kind of quick when I got the shot. So thankfully I got the shot there first because now it's kind of moved away from the subject. And as you can probably see here from the brightness in the sky, there's a couple of gaps in the cloud there. So that is actually creating a highlight within the image, which may be, make it difficult to uh, expose. I've put on my 0.9 ND grad now, and my uh, shutter speed is 1 100th of a second, and I'm at F16, and ISO is at 100. Now, I probably will take a couple of different types of exposures now for here. Might end up having to do a exposure blend because when the light does come out here it's quite bright obviously in relation to here but nonetheless even with the filter it's still a challenge to always to shoot into the sun looking at the clouds that are around me right now as well i hope that i'm going to get a nice evening for it is anyway but yeah i'll give you a look at this shot it may stay color or i might end up actually moving it to black and white i think with the texture that's in the rock there um, it really, really should lend well to a black and white image. However, there is one dandelion that's at the very much so base of the frame, so I might end up staying colour just for that. I don't know. We'll see what it's like once I get it back to base to have a look at it. But anyway, yeah, you'll see it now before I will. I'll give you a look at it and we'll find another composition then in a moment. As the sun is coming out here, you can see it's lighting up the lighthouse absolutely beautifully. And with the dark clouds as well that are in the background, I figured I'd come to the other side here now and grab a shot. Now, for here as well, I have to be a couple of things conscious. Number one, I want to have something nice within the foreground. So what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the edge of the rocks as they're coming around here, which kind of skirt around and then obviously going up to the lighthouse. The biggest thing for me on this is the contrast between the brightness and the darkness of that cloud that's in the background. Now, hopefully, it's not a big rain cloud. It could be, um, but thankfully I'm not that far from the van anyway, so I'll be able to, you know, retreat back if it does come down anyway heavy. But definitely a nice contrast and stormy sky here in the background. Settings now as well. I've stuck at F16 and I am at uh, 1 one twenty fifth of a second. And I'm making sure now that I'm focused using my manual focus as well the whole way through the image, watching the histogram, obviously nothing is blown out. And I have the lighthouse as well, bang smack in the middle of the frame, using, as I said, this um, jagged edge of the rock. I must also zoom in too, because with my shadows, you can see here, it's coming into the outside of the frame. So at the moment, I'm around about 25 mil, and that's getting rid of the shadow that's being cast as the sun here. But yeah, I'm gonna fire off these shots now while I do have this light because 
I don't know how long the light's going to last, obviously. And when it does go, I lose that bright contrast, which is so compelling, I think, inside in the scene right now anyway. So yeah, gonna fire off a couple here, probably in portrait mode. Might take another one as well in landscape. I don't know, but I'm gonna take them before the light is gone. I've literally only moved probably 10 feet from the last composition and I've kind of come over a bit further because I'm facing the lighthouse now directly straight on. And with the dark sky in the background here, with my shots, it looks like it's actually blackness in the dark in the back. And I think that's really, really nice because obviously with the brightness that's there from the sun that's lighting this up. Again, I found some interesting uh, alignment within the rocks that are here. and. The area that I'm at actually is right at the edge of the Burren, and it's the Burren National Park. And it's a phenomenal area for photography, for everything in relation to the topography, the types of the rocks, the, the shapes that you have in the rocks. It's all about trying to find a leading line in relation to this as well. And it really, really is barren here. Now, with this shot as well, I hope that I get it before the, uh, the sun will go in because it really, really is nice. I'm going to hang around now and wait to see what else happens here with the ever-changing light. I did find another composition on the other side there as well. I might go back to that now if the sun will go behind the clouds because shooting directly into the sun, it's quite difficult to be able to get that shot. I could do it by taking a bracket shot for sure, but I want to try and avoid that. But yeah, I'll give you a look at this now here, my third shot. Not that far different from the one previous, but slightly different because you've got a different set of rocks that are in the front here as well, and a nice different shape within this as well, and texture obviously for that matter. So yeah, give you a look at these now, and then we might go back here, or I might find something else. We'll see. It's like a, a sweet shop here, trying to find compositions with the amount of multitude of shapes that are in the rocks, like I said. But yeah, give you a look at those now, and we'll come back again in a moment. I just decided to drop down here just a small little bit and go handheld with the camera to see can I play around here with the different shapes and the rocks that are there. And by doing that, I'm not fixing myself in any kind of composition for the tripod. It gives me a lot more flexibility. Now, as you can see here by me squinting, the sun is directly on me, which is great because it's lighting up that lighthouse here behind me. And obviously with the dark sky, it looks great. So all I have to do is basically look around like this here and see which of these rocks will give me a nice composition. Have to be careful, obviously, of that, which is my shadow. But yeah, definitely good to go handheld. I'll give you a look at the shots that I've gotten here now, handheld, and then I'm gonna head over to the other side because I do hope that that sun is going to go away. It's rare that I ask for the sun to go away, but I hope the sun's gonna go away for a brief moment so I can get the shot on the other side. So I think what I'm going to do now here is get down extremely low. Uh, and with this tripod, because I don't have a center column, I can spread the legs out quite wide, which will allow me to be able to get pretty close to my subject. And my subject is right below me here. There's a lovely kind of a V shape uh, in the rocks. And what that also is allowing me to do, as you can see here, it's in shade. So the building should be silhouetted nicely. So if I get down quite low with my tripod, as you can see here, uh, at its lowest point, and I'm gonna get pretty close to the subject, I'm going to change now, and I'm going to go into portrait orientation. And then I have to be careful, obviously, where my tripod leg is there. So I might just twist this slightly, 
so the tripod leg is out of the frame and then dropping the shot dropping the frame down just to go to here that's nice actually because i think it is um silhouetted by the building so the sun is right behind it bring that up slightly i don't really need that and i'm going to take a quick test shot here just review that yeah i might need to tweak this here now and i might need to do some focus stacking but yeah i'm going to set it up here and i'll tell you how i got on after that now it's easier for me to give you a look at the composition here in the back of the camera so if i uh, just give you a look here what you can have is the sun is right behind uh, the structure of the lighthouse here and then down here you've got this lovely v uh, in the image and i think that's really really nice now what i've had to do is do an exposure blend and focus blend as well because i want to make sure everything that's down here is in focus and obviously the whole way through and then with the sky being so bright i have to make sure that i go and drop that down as well uh, ever so slightly so yeah that's the um more or less the 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 the, the composition with the video obviously it's slightly compressed to a 16.9 but yeah i think that's a nice shot now thankfully i was able to get down low enough and then use the uh, the structure of the lighthouse to block out that as well which is always beneficial so yeah give you a look at this shot now and then we'll see what else happens and then we'll see what type of conditions we get as the sun will set As we're getting closer now to sunset you can see here the sun is just dropping into a set of clouds and we're getting some nice crispicular rays that are coming down here so i've quickly got the camera there set up a composition put the lighthouse on the left hand side of the frame and then with these uh, clouds with this light streaming down as well on the right hand side of the frame now as always it's a bit difficult to uh, shoot directly into the sun when you've got bright highlights but now that it's gone behind the darkness of the cloud here it allows for a better and more balanced um, exposure time as well within the image. Now also looking at the horizon here, I see a bit of color, but I also see a potential gap. So fingers crossed that we get rewarded here for uh, the evening for sunset because the clouds definitely look dramatic and I think it should be a nice finish to a great day here at Blackhead Lighthouse. So yeah, I'll take this now and we'll check back in again. Hopefully if that light will uh, drop and light up the sky and light up those clouds that we see here so ominously in front of us. So as usual, the bane of my life, which is dark clouds on the western horizon, have won through for the evening. But I think nonetheless, still got some nice shots. We did get a small bit of a blush of colour there on the band that was a bit of a gap that I was hopeful that the sun was going to peek through, but unfortunately it didn't. Even as we look here now in the sky above me, there is a gap, but it is too high. And I don't think it's going to catch with any uh, light. We are now well past uh, sunset, I think, at this stage. So 
yeah i'm going to finish up this episode i hope you enjoyed coming along on this adventure to the clare coast and to blackhead lighthouse a stunning place to photograph hopefully the images as well have done it some justice and you would have seen the drone footage as well earlier on there it's in a fantastic area of ireland thank you very much for joining as always if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time schlange fall.